industry night rehearsals at the Galileo Lounge. The event is going down tonight. You're with me, Ruby, and I'm here with one of the performers, Kenzo. What's good? Matata. I'm, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. What's up? You, you didn't sound like you were chilling two seconds ago. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I guess that's, that's my way of saying I'm chilling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a very different side. Now, Kenzo, you have been in the game for how long now? Uh, since my first single, Mama Milka, um, it's, it's roughly seven years. Seven years right now. And the journey has been, hasn't been smooth, but well, it's, it's, worth, it's worthwhile. Wh what, has, what has been the biggest challenge ever? Biggest challenge ever was to convince guys to listen to me at the time I was coming up. Because everyone was just singing about, where can we go? And coming from a church background, uh, I used to be very, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a soul singer. So most of the time I just used to sing those church uh, songs. Uh, but if you point to at some point, so I checked in, as in, it was, it, it became a little bit um, tricky for guys to accept the style. But after they got to understand what I, what I was trying to do into the show business, actually guys were limeza. And I'm really, really thankful to the fans. And actually, Homeboy is pro promoting me for the first time. I remember that time, Jimani was the one, um, as in, I think he just checked in Kenya. So you guys organized a street bash. And I was lucky enough to be among us the first artist to perform on the same stage. Actually, my video, uh, Mama Milka, was, was, was launched there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And we've been supporting you ever since. Shout out to Homeboys Radio, man. What can you tell people out there, the fans, people who've been asking, um, Kenzo, where have you been? What are we expecting now from Kenzo? As guys know, uh, uh, like less less than five months ago, yeah. I I parted with the I parted with the with the Gopa, mm -hmm. uh, due to just be a shara. Due things weren't really working out. Mm -hmm. S okay, not like really working out, but business side wasn't really coming coming up so we parted ways so ever since i've been trying to find myself mm. and i'm thankful that uh I ch i've chucked like uh i think i think three or four songs mm. uh two of them with the uh, much black and the herbalist then one with a uh, pacho mm. but i think i found myself again with pacho so yeah it yeah. that's it's that's your label now yeah that's my label now but Again, as I said, it hasn't been easy trying to find myself. That's why I was out for a minute. Mm -hmm. So I was really trying to find myself and trying to get a team together. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, I already got a team. I'm actually under Kaka Empire Management. And, um, and uh, right now I'm recording with Pacho. So I can say things are moving on smoothly. I have a stylist. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I have a stylist. Uh, Liz, much love. But they, uh, I have a stylist. Um, I have people who tell me, li like people, it's like, it's like, I have people who watch over me. I can just say that, apart from my late mom. But I have people who watch over me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you've said that uh, when you were coming up, it was hard getting into the music industry because you were doing a quite a different sound. You know, at that time we had Dux Vultures killing it with, you know. And um, where did you grow up for that, like, church background? Church background. Yeah. Uh, me, uh, um, hey, me, me, Nikki Janawa, South B. I was born and bred and brought up, done everything, kill a kid in South B. I was born in Mata Hospital. My mom used to be a subordinate uh, worker at Kenya Polytechnic. Mm -hmm. She used to like uh, wash the toilets. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, I was born at um, Mata Hospital, went to Mariakani Primary School in South B, went to Highway Secondary School in South B, mm -hmm. then got a scholarship um, in uh, Strathmore University. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can say me and my South B baby. Mm -hmm. South B in Afakwa Capital City, Nairobi. <laughs> Lies, lies. Kayole uko. Nineteen But anyway, Saudi is the place to be. As in, I thank my people, Watongo Saudi, because I remember uh, at some point I was really undergoing a trying moment when I lost my mom. It was really trying. Moment. How long ago was this? It's like roughly twelve years ago. So I've lived ever since with my four brothers, but most of my life I've lived alone, like Jerry Butuku hustle. And for, for, for the guys who, do, who don't know, my actually my background is not really music, it's football and masomo. Mm. But uh, sometimes you, ha you have to do what you gotta do when you to, to get that bread. Yeah. So, nilingekwa music by default, it sounds wrong, but it was just by default. Because yeah. me was playing football and playing my guitar at the same time, but guitar was just playing in the house, not for everyone. Mm. Then it so happened that one of my pals uh, invited me to go perform at a wedding. Mm. I was like, 
how much are you paying me? Okay, I d- actually didn't ask for cash. Mm. He then told me. But then I'll give you three Gs. I was like, three Gs? One, two, three. Mm. Mimi, Mimi I'm, I'm somebody who's used to be giving like 500 after a game or like or maybe 700 when you yeah. when you guys win a game. You yeah. get. So three Gs, I was like, ah, I've got nothing to lose. Anyway, I need the chums. Mm. So I went, performed. Uh, the funny thing was this. I did not know that my friend was a brother to Ogopa DJs, Lucas. And actually, the wedding I was playing at mm. was, everyone was there. So after I performed with my guitar, the guy was like, where? He approached me back and was like, have you ever thought of doing music for Biashara? I was like, okay, is that like money? I was, he was like, let's try it out. If it doesn't work out, you can just go back to football. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I tried, and my first song, my first song became a hit. Mm-hmm. As in, I know not many artists can say that. Yeah. My first song became a hit. Mm-hmm. Mama Milka, where, where, where? I'm going to kwa hewa. Yeah, as in, it was a really nice feeling, but uh, at some point, I wasn't really ready for the um, mm-hmm. limelight. Wasn't prepared, I, I, I guess, because at some point it got to my head. Because at that time, I remember when getting into the music industry, actually I was everything. I wasn't drinking. I was a, I was a good boy. I was a church boy. And all the other rumors you used to hear, mm-hmm. most of them were true. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, at some point it got the best of me. But uh, la- thank, thanks to Gopa DJs, they really helped me out. Like they talk to me, what kind of English, as in things just weren't right, considering you just lost your mom, your music, as in the fame is there. So I was just being young at that time. Mm-hmm. So I ended up being caught up in a lot of things. But thank God I managed to come back. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so basically that's just part of my journey. Oh, wow.